I downloaded the most mutant and cursed units you could possibly find, and I saved the best for last. I'm sure you've all seen Huggy Wuggy, but I guarantee you, you probably have never seen him quite like this. Oh, <laughs> this is Huggy Wuggy final phase four. As you can see, he has been completely mutated beyond all recognition. And he literally can move. Oh my, he's like a giant snowplow of doom. He doesn't even use his face. You have a giant face full of teeth. Use your face, please. Don't, no. No, this is not how it should be. Just a bunch of weird random hands smacking everybody. You need to actually like ram. They should have put this thing on like the head of a vehicle or something. See something a little bit more aggressive might do it. Jump up in there. Jump up in there. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he, he literally missed the, the entire thing. He missed all the dinosaurs. Surely this can't be missed. No, no, yeah, he got some. <laughs> oh, yeah, that brontosaurus got wrecked right in the face. Well, uh, final phase four, Huggy Wuggy is a little uncontrollable. Maybe we should look at some other poppy playtime stuff. Here is one poppy playtime creature that is probably the most terrifying out of all of them to me. And that's Killy Willy. Killy Willy is on a whole other level. And what the? Look at this thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at these fingers and everything. Oh, it's just brutally wrong on so many levels. He's just excited. He's jumping around trying to get into the action. Oh, his little gangly fingers are latching on to people and then flinging them around and looking all weird. He's got eyeballs on his hands. His mouth, it doesn't eat anybody, but he sure as heck flings things with his hands. That's nice. Oh, 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 Goro's in, Goro's in. He's got the, like, the chest nab-nab looking thing. He did it first, right? They did it first in, in Poppy Playtime. Then nab-nab came along. Look at all. Killy Willy is only a little, you know, like a spider. Nab Nab's like a cross between Killy Willy and Mommy Longlegs, kind of. Not really, but you get it. Speaking of Mommy Longlegs, this might be like the derpiest one, but also looks really good. There's one that actually has really long legs and it's kind of crazy, but it doesn't really move that much. This one does move and uh, likes to attack defenseless uh, people, but man, oh man, look, she's got the whole big thorax booty thing going on over here. She, she can, she can move. Let me tell you. Look at her go. There she goes. With her nice little spiky fingers, picking people up to eat them. Do they actually eat them? I don't even know. They're just like doing it for fun. They're a bunch of psychopathic creatures. Then we have the classic duo themselves. Huggy Wuggy, oh yeah, and Kissy Missy. Look, she's a lot smaller. Does she actually, can you actually attack people? Do you have, do you have like, uh, she got spikes in her eyeballs, but does she have uh, anything that can take them out? Uh, obviously Huggy Wuggy does have some stuff and he's looking pretty crazy. So let's watch him as they both come in here and attack some hippos. <laughs> I don't know. I always like the hippos and it's just so ridiculous to watch that it makes total sense. And you know, they went to the zoo together and then the hippo started to attack them. And so they had to take it out on the hippos. First of all, no zoo in the world has this many hippos. <laughs> Secondly, with Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy, they were on a date. They didn't do that. Maybe, maybe they wouldn't go to a zoo, I'll tell you that much. They maybe go to a shopping mall for specific reasons. Giant pretzels. Kissy Missy likes giant pretzels. That's why. Don't, jeez, what were you thinking? I think what we'll do, too, at the end, is we, we need to see, you know, which one is the strongest. And so we gotta put the new catnap against all this stuff and see if catnap is able to run! Run! Ha <laughs> they stepped on him. Oh, that's just wrong. I was gonna say, I don't even know if this thing works, and then I saw it move. And uh, needless to say, it does. I'm a little concerned because it might fly off the map. PJ Pugapillar. <laughs> Look at him. Here we are. Go crazy looking. He's got a nice little body and everything. This is how he moves. He literally can fly. So there's that. But does he actually attack them? Oh, he's somehow destroying them. I don't know what's happening. Lag. I don't know how he's attacking them, but clearly, I mean, maybe he's just violently whipping his body back and forth. 
you know, doing the nay nay with <laughs> this PJ Pugapillar body. Oh, I don't know why I even said that. Well, when, how old is that thing? Ow. That's a long time ago. It probably shows, like, some of my age, maybe. Does it? I, I don't even know if you know how old I am. I think some people think I'm like a teenager, but I'm not. I'm older than that. PJ Pugapillar just destroyed everybody. I think probably my favorite Poppy Playtime creature is... Boxy Boo. Boxy Boo, just because it's so cool. So cool. Look at it. It's so unique. Look at Boxy Boo. About to eat everybody over here. Don't mess with him. He's dangerous. I know it's not, you know, I know it's obviously from the multiplayer game, but, you know, same same thing. The way it works. It's, it's in the universe. Oh my. Dude, can they, are they actually pushing it back? Get in there, Boxy Boo. You're not supposed to be doing this. You're supposed to be attacking it. Oh, dude. He just, he just ate that guy. Is he in his mouth still? Oh, I totally missed it. You need to get over there and eat somebody else, okay? Not that far. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get him. Get him all. Eat them all. Yeah. Yeah. Boxy Boo taking it to him. He, oh, yeah. He totally got that guy. We saw it. He ate him. He ate him for breakfast. It was a little bit of maple syrup on it. You can't have Boxy Boo without Lunchbox. Burger Boo. Burger Boy Boo Boo. Burgerdy Boo. Burgerdy Boo over here is about to <laughs> take him all to lunch. Oh, yeah. Burger Boo. I like Burger the Burger Boy. Lunchbox. He's pretty cool. He's, uh, you know, a hamburger. Who doesn't like hamburgers? Who... There are people who don't like hamburgers, which is... I guess people don't like cows, though. But it's just amazing to me. How can you not like hamburgers? A burger, some cheese, some mayonnaise, or barbecue sauce, bacon. Then, you, you know, then you pack it up in a lunchbox. First of all, who's taking a burger in a lunchbox to school? <laughs> who's doing that? Nobody does that. That's crazy. You don't take burgers to school with you. What are you, eating it cold? That's gross. Before we check out the regular catnap, we have the monster catnap. <laughs> this thing is a giant. It's like uh, it's like Jumbo Josh, but catnap form. Look at the size of this thing. I mean, it, kind of, it looks like a cat, kind of. It's just a gigantic purple monster. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, he's got the little, you know, the little moon thing hanging from his chest and everything. And clearly able to just completely stomp everybody out. He's way too powerful. His arms are too long to actually move and attack. He just kind of slides them across the ground, eventually destroying people. Barely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Big old nice group of them getting flung across the map. Beautiful. Beautiful to see. Good job, monster catnap. I actually kind of like this. Thing. Here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for is catnap. Oh, man. This thing looks awesome. I like this thing a lot. I, the tail's kind of weird. But the face, look at that. face is perfect. And then the like the shoulders and everything. Man, oh, look at it. even got like ridge spines on the back going up. Man, the detail. The level of quality. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Oh my. Hey, somebody's on a whole other level over here. That's, that's a very fast moving cat, let me tell you. Oh, oh, it's getting bludgeoned. But it, it, there's no way. There's no way. Look at him throwing people. There's no way this thing can. This is going to win the, the battle royale. This is going to be the one that wins. Nothing's going to stand in its way. And speaking of Battle Royale, now is the time. I'm a little concerned about PJ Pugapillar, so I took him out. And instead of him, I put in the Boogie Bat. <laughs> Which I don't have any confidence in whatsoever. But let me know who you think's going to win it. Or who is your favorite. Okay, we got Catnap. Boxy Boo. Huggy Wuggy. Kissy Missy. Mom and Long Lose and Burger Boo and then Boogie Bot. Obviously, I don't know. I don't think so. And look at Catnap is going right for Boogie Bot. It's all over, Boogie. Oh, there's a three. Oh, he instantly died. How does he instantly go down? He's not even strong enough to last two seconds. There goes a Burger Boy. 
Lunchbox is down. Catnap, dude. Catnap's on a whole other level. Then over here, we got Boxy Boo, Kissy, and Huggy all fighting each other. Oh, it's not looking good for Boxy. They're teaming up on him. Although Boxy is made of like nothing but metal. And Huggy and Kissy definitely have like fleshy parts. So I don't know who's going to win. Oh, no. A level, le lover's quarrel. A uh, Kissy Missy goes down. What a sad day. Look at her lifeless body just over here. She's nothing but feathers. Now, Boxy and Huggy. Catnap versus Mommy Longlegs. I don't know who's going to win. Uh-oh. Things have changed. Huggy went flying. Boxy's in the mix. Now it's a four-way battle. Now we'll see what happens. This is this is what I'm talking about. Oh, it looks like Catnap's fighting Huggy for the title of the the main thing. He's his hand is coming out of his mouth. What is even occur how is this even happening? What's even occurring? How does that hand Oh, Huggy goes down. Looks like we have a new main character in the ploppy plate ploppy ploppy plop your booty down ploppy <laughs> i said it again poppy playtime universe you gonna plop your butt down and watch this battle boxy boo goes down oh get your speaking of ploppy get your ploppy out of my face two long armed gangly creatures the only problem is mommy long legs is all metal what is he? What's he even? He's attacking the legs. Catnap knows the weakness. He's going for the legs. It's been a few minutes and the battle rages on. I, I don't want to even look at the health because I want to be absolutely surprised. I believe in Catnap. I believe Catnap will be victorious and the new ultimate creature in the Poppy Playtime universe. I don't know. I don't know how long it's been. It's been like 10. Oh, <gasps> no way. Well, I'm glad I started recording. Catnap! Ah! This is the Venus flytrap, but it doesn't meet my expectations. There are so many different types of Venus flytraps that people are making, but none of them quite like what I want to make. And today I'm going to make the most amazing one this game's ever seen. A giant, multi-headed Venus flytrap of doom. But before I do that, we must witness the power of even the basic Venus flytrap and what it's capable of doing. As you can see, it opens its mouth and devours its prey, slowly boiling them alive in its stomach acid. And while this one might be able to do a whole lot, there are many other ones that are just as amazing, if not more so. This is like a baby Venus flytrap. You guys, it only gets more intense from here. We have something called the King Flytrap, which is ginormous. Can we technically classify this as a Venus flytrap? I don't know. It's called Chomper, and it clearly is a little bit different. has more of an animal head going on rather than the other Venus flytrap look. But I thought I'd include it because it pretty much works the exact same way. Although this one has got spikes all over it and you can catch its prey in the spikes. What's better than one head? Three heads. And this is on a whole other level. We need to test and see what can be eaten by this thing. So I've got a whole assortment of animals here for my Venus flytrap to choose from. We'll see if they're able to actually devour some of these. Now, I think so. Like this big gigantic one right there is just utterly wrecking these things. This one is super cool because of the multi-head. But guess what? They, it, like I said, it only goes up from here because there's even more insane ones than this thing. Oh, it's got the hippo. It's got the hippo in its mouth. It doesn't quite eat him, though. This is why I must make giant Venus flytraps, because it needs to be able to devour even the largest of the dinosaurs. This hippo's like, forget it, I'm out of here. What? Uh, no, is he turning back? I think he's almost dead. Whenever they're almost dead, they run away. It's too bad we can't pit Venus flytraps against Venus flytraps, or can we? Oh, yeah. These three versus the three-headed venus flytrap who's gonna win this one this is pretty interesting oh 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 they, oh they're snapping at him i don't know who's gonna win though this is actually kind of interesting i have no idea what's about to happen wait can they actually do anything to each other i don't know if they can because aren't there oh they're doing damage the base is down there 
Oh, hey, yeah, okay, it's taking damage for sure. But this looks like this battle could go on forever. But could you imagine Venus flytraps literally fighting each other in real life? That'd be crazy. You know what's better than three heads? Seven heads. A seven-headed Venus flytrap. Will it be able to destroy these guys before they chop it down? The heads in the back don't really work because they're out of reach, although they're definitely trying. They are definitely capable of eating these guys. And this guy right here is like, no, please. Please spare me. I made a mistake. I promise never to chop at a Venus flytrap again. Look at, look at this guy. Oh, there it was. He was late like, lasted a while. And then he got big gigantic Venus fly spikes right in his back. Venus flytraps are known for eating lots of bugs. And not only bugs, they can eat frogs and pretty much anything that gets in their mouth. Like a snail. Even though that's pretty funny to watch a slug try to slither its way through a Venus flytrap. But this one right here is the baby version of the next one. This is a giant fly trap, and you might think, this is the baby version? How big's the next one? Well, this is what I'm saying. They only go up from, from here. And while the next one's gigantic, it's still not big enough for my liking, and so we need to break its record and make something even more insane. This thing, though, is pretty awesome. It doesn't, it's not really, it's not quite eating things, though. It's not opening its mouth. Open your gullet! It and swallow these bugs. It has the little tiny heads on the sides, which I it was just kind of cool. But honestly, if you're going to make all their heads, make all their heads, make all their arms and stuff. It's a pretty simple design, and I'm super excited to make mine. But first, we must look at what's called the King Fly Trap. As you can see, it has devoured many a men trying to get to the gold. This is is the king fly trap look at the size difference it's so big it's amazing looking i really really like this thing and and once i saw this i thought i need to make an even bigger version than this thing and we're gonna do it it will happen it's freaking amazing though and i like how it how big its mouth is it's definitely able to eat more which is exactly what i want i wanted to devour whole brachiosauruses or massive amounts of animals all at one time still it suffers from the head problem where it only has one head really to work this one's doing some work too but it needs to have there needs to be more i actually really like the look of this one and so i think i want to try to make it look look very similar to this and i think this yeah it's just got feathers on there and then it's on those spiky things but we gotta i gotta figure out how to make this thing bigger start with our base i'm gonna up the attack multiplier to 10 and this is where the fun begins oh let's see the size oh yeah that's that's way better but it's still not big enough so the real question is how can I make this even larger? Because here, let me get a let me get a man in comparison. Here is a man. That's pretty big, but it needs to be bigger. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Can't really make it any bigger, but we can definitely make it more epic. So that's what I'm gonna go for right there. Oh yeah, it's coming along nicely. Oh, <laughs> we got the base built. Oh, I think it's coming along really nice. Yeah, and I'll definitely be putting this on the Steam Workshop so you can look forward to seeing it on there. Well, it's all covered. Everything is ready, but I'm not content yet. It almost needs more heads. <laughs> it almost needs to be even more intense than this. Meet the ultimate fly trap. It has eight heads, three giant ones, two middle sized ones underneath. Actually, I think this one's pretty much. Now, nah, this one's similar size as this one over here. And then there's a small one down front. These, This one is coming off of this one. And so it should all reach. This should be an absolute annihilation. Now, the question is. Do they all work? I think they all work. Some of them, it, oh, <laughs> that's exactly what I was hoping for. Oh my goodness, it's absolute mayhem. It's even better than I thought it was going to be. This is so crazy. You guys, this is so much better than I even imagined it was going to be. Some of the heads work, some of them don't work. I need to put stuff all around it just to kind of watch what happens when we do that. Here we go. We're about to witness the insanity of this thing. Oh my goodness, it's so amazing. You guys, this is so great. All the heads are moving. All the heads are doing their own thing. 
I even have I even have plants down here and rocks and stuff. Look at my detail, guys. I, I went all out for you. I wanted to make sure you guys had a good a good show and a good a good creation. And I think I've achieved my my purpose. Look at how many guys it just grabbed. <laughs> this is so much better than I even imagined. I love uh, you know what? I've I've been really enjoying making things. I need to make more stuff. But now the true test, you guys. I said I wanted to be able to eat dinosaurs. So let's see what. Ha oh, they're so big. I don't know if it's gonna. I don't know if it's gonna work. It's not gonna be able to. I I thought I could get the thing bigger. Like I thought I could get that arm way bigger, and it turns out you can't. You can't. But they they're gonna. They're still gonna eat them. They're gonna definitely die. That's for sure. Open your mouth and eat that Spinosaurus. He's got the Brachiosaurus in his mouth, so that's a good thing. But it's not... These, these should be destroying these things a lot quicker than what they are. I thought I made this thing pretty powerful, but apparently I didn't. There's definitely one thing sure about this. There is nothing other than like a laser or weapon, some kind of projectile that's going to allow you to destroy this thing. Because it is... It is very well guarded in <laughs> the box the base is very well protected well you guys i think that's it for today's video i feel extremely successful after making this because normally you know I, I i don't i don't make too many things that are amazing in this game but i feel pretty good about how this thing turned out it's not every day that a nice little quiet village gets attacked by some gigantic monster this is the bridge worm and he is utterly eating and destroying all of the town's folk as they sit and enjoy a nice little campfire and even fight back i don't even think they they're even able to do anything to this thing oh no the moment that something gets close to it it just utterly destroys all of it it's definitely way better than that other bridge worm that we found a long time ago today we get to experience a whole bunch of different weird crazy monsters i think you're gonna like this video he kind of freaked out and launched himself into the trees so Let's move on. Listen up, man. This castle wall will not be breached. But if it is breached, there's a whole army of guys back here. Even though this next thing has funny in its name, it also has fear in its name, which describes it way better. It's funny fear phase four. We're going to find out if it can breach this wall and destroy these guys. Wow. Uh, 10 detection distance is way closer than I realized it was. I thought for sure that they would throw a lot sooner than that. Oh no, he has flamethrowers too. That's horrible. But it also looks like Funny can't get back up. Although, oh nope, there he goes. I don't. I was gonna say I don't know if it's needed. He was break dance destroying people's faces. Oh, he breached the wall. There's one. There's one guy left. He's like, is something happening over there? He breached the wall, and now all these guys are attacking it. Which they're the best. They're the best hope for survival. In all reality, their spears and their swords and stuff. What is coming out of this thing's stomach? This is a disgusting creature. Oh look, in his legs, he has tentacles for legs. He doesn't actually even have legs. Let's find out what other terrifying monsters we have on today's menu. Don't you just hate it when your nice little peaceful village is invaded by a gigantic man bat with wings and it's gonna destroy everyone. Don't fear not everyone though. This woman is incredibly buff. She's gonna fight this thing. She's a crossfitter. It had missiles and I took those off because I figured it might be a little too, too much. You know what? Let's put it back on. I got a feeling this is gonna make things way more destructive and more entertaining to watch because there are a whole bunch of houses with people living inside. Oh, he just swooped that person and picked them up. Oh, do the missiles actually destroy the roofs and stuff? doesn't look like they're actually destroying the buildings. Are some houses indestructible? That's kind of what it appears to be. Oh no, get away from the get away from the kids in the pool. I'm kind of disappointed. I thought that those missiles would actually destroy buildings and stuff. And he has flamethrowers, but he doesn't really seem to be using them all too much. He is destroying all the fences and 
Things like that, though. Oh, that guy died in there. Oh, no, not the children at the playground enjoying the nice pumpkin patch and their little merry-go-round thingy. What are those things called? Do you remember these things? Oh, no, everyone just got destroyed. I don't even think that those things exist anymore. Those little things that you can spin around. It was like a death trap for kids. If you get spun fast enough, they just go flying off into oblivion. Well, the man bat's quite enjoyable, but I think we need to get even more insane creations. Don't you just hate it when trees come to life and mutate into crazy monsters? Well, that's what these people are about to experience. This is some kind of weird mutated tree monster. And as you can see, he's got little roots coming off of him. Big old leaves. He's got big spiky claw things. He's got lasers for some reason. The lasers are kind of ruining things because he hasn't even spiked one guy. Are they all gone already? Oh no, he's back and so is everyone else. <laughs> he is utterly destroying everything. Those, These long fingers are just creepy to me. To think about something with those long fingers that's a monster attacking you and then having like these limbs and things all over it. It's just hideous to me. Now, if you haven't been able to tell so far, these are all Trevor Henderson monsters. This one is a Trevor Henderson fan-made monster. I thought would I, I would include because it's very monster-esque. And if you're new to the channel, definitely make sure to like and subscribe, all the good stuff. Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. Oh, here he comes. He can't quite get up the hill. This is the problem with most monsters. They can't quite climb. Just like this guy can't climb either. This is a enraged creeper and as you can see he is quite terrifying looking he also has lots of claws but we do have something that might be able to destroy him it's called the hippo riders <laughs> they are gorillas riding on hippos and they're they mean serious business look at them oh never mind there's a there's missiles that's gonna make things way quicker for the creeper. Yeah, jeez, okay. You know what's interesting? Every time somebody makes a creeper, no one ever actually makes the creeper do what it's supposed to do. Explode. Put some TNT on these things. Why does he have this weird tongue thing coming out of his mouth? That's just even more creepier than usual. Is the enraged creeper a Trevor Henderson creation? I actually didn't know that. Maybe it is. Somebody let me know. I have no idea. Oh, I also never told you. We're going to take all these different monsters and put them off at the end against one another to find out which one's the strongest. Something tells me this next one might have an advantage. This is a Curse Thomas, as you can see. And what I find very entertaining about this big gigantic thing is that it's not a normal, ordinary looking Thomas. He actually is quite grotesque and weird, but I also like his little legs, which I'll show you here in a second. You can see for yourself what the legs look like. It's quite enjoyable to watch him move. Whoa, he's break dancing. That was crazy. Behold the tiny legs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at those little legs moving. It's how can how can such a weird monster be so cute at the same time? This thing's absolutely terrifying. I think that this might win. I don't know for sure though. This is something called the Hexapod Giant, and while I'll probably tweak him for the final battle, the, I'm just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna let him do his thing. He has about 50 different flamethrowers on his hands, and so. He makes short work of pretty much everything. I have no idea what that's going to mean for the final battle or if we're going to have to uh, exclude this guy because he might be a little too strong. And here we go with the final battle. Wow, one thing's for sure. This guy is way taller than all the other ones. Which one do you think is going to wind up winning? My money is on this Thomas right here. Simply because of all his little spiky things. But he could lose. We've got the man bat. We've got bridge worm, which looks really funny. He's like, hey, everybody. And then we've got final of... Uh, uh, what's his name? Funny fear, phase four. I was going to say fanny fear. That's not quite the name. Name. the giant hexapod the little creeper and then the mutant tree thing let's find out which one is the best oh i forgot the mutant tree he also has lots of little spiky things so he could win too okay the hexapod just destroyed the um bridge worm like nothing perhaps maybe his flamethrowers might be too much his flamethrowers are too much. Well, I've removed the flamethrowers, but it's probably gonna neuter him to make him like not even that strong. There is explosions going on. Was that from 
Oh, that might have been from the tree guy. It looks like the creeper is trying to get real in Thomas. And I think the tree guy's dead already. Oh, Thomas just destroyed the creeper? Whoa, Thomas might be pretty powerful. Looks like I don't even know what that was. Oh, is that Fanny Fear? Fanny Fear's done. Fanny Fear's gone. Dude, the hexapod doesn't can't even fight now, so he's just gonna lay on things. Bridge worm is still left alive. Thomas is working. Somebody has missiles. Maybe it's the bridge worm. Thomas has joined the battle. Now we'll find out just how strong Thomas is and if he's uh, maybe overpowered compared to everybody else. Oh, he is. He has managed to uh, hit them quite a few times and they're still alive. So they're not. Th oh, there goes the bridge worm. They're not too powerful. But you know what? The hexapod has the missiles. It wasn't the bridge worm. He's got a missile somewhere, but I don't actually think it's being very effective or doing much at all. But it's probably good for him to have one weapon because his punching... Uh, he is actually punching quite a lot. And I th maybe he's doing damage to Thomas. Oh no, Thomas's underbelly is showing. His little legs. Don't touch Thomas's legs, you big meanie. There it is. It's all over. Thomas won. How much health does he have left? Oh! He actually took some health. That's that, that's good. Took some damage. Well, guys, uh, as Thomas lays here in victory, not being able to get up, he will slowly hence his demise. Today, you'll bear witness to the most epic and random things you'll see on the internet today. This video is so many different things, I don't even know how to categorize it. There's a lot of weird stuff in this video. Stick around and watch the end and let me know which one is your favorite. When I was looking at things for today's video, I kept coming across awesome things, but a lot of random of things that didn't really make sense so i thought hmm, let's put them all in a video and let's start with this thing this is the ultimasaurus big scratchy claws big spikes all over its body an insane spiky triceratops head of doom and he's absolutely gigantic i thought let's fight him off against a bunch of mammals because why not specifically i'm interested in watching that big club smack some giraffes right in the face somehow that club tail has a missed hitting all of these giraffes. Oh, there it is. He got one. Ha <laughs> ha. Maybe I need more. Yeah, I think that ought to work. He better use that tail like a big freaking bowling ball knocking down a bunch of bowling pins. Oh, he straight up bit that giraffe's head to clean off. Bring that tail around and whip these things. Come on now. Whoa, things are freaking out. <laughs> I guess when you put a bunch of giraffes in the game, I don't think I ever have. They make things behave very weirdly. This is the new trend. This is a random a weird looking venus fly trap thing it looks like that head is it gonna come down and eat those things it kind of has to look but i don't think it's going to it looks like it's just spiking stuff look at this gorilla <laughs> the gorilla whose body surfing was dead but it was body surfing and it looked absolutely ridiculous it's a cool design but it's very ineffective i don't think it would work very well in real life i found something it's absolutely amazing there's only ever been one other one that i know of that was made and that was really awesome but it was way too big this one though is a lot smaller general grievous look at this thing isn't it amazing the other one was really big this thing looks so good and it's random because i found it i liked it didn't fit with any of anything else that i was trying to do and i wanted to show it so this is why i'm playing with it because it's, this is why this video is random does it move like that look at how it moves use your lightsaber I've been trained in your Jedi art. <laughs> I wish I could do a General Grievous voice. That thing sounds so cool. I think the other one is on a whole other level in terms of like insanity and what it can actually do. And it, this thing's cape is working. It's freaking out a little bit. Look, it's mommy long legs with some kind of weird stuff going on with their eyeball. That's because it's not just mommy long legs. It's also Boxy Boo and Huggy Wuggy and everything else mashed together. Look, this was what it looked like if it was mashed together. It's kind of cool. I like the look of it. It's in a jack-in-the-box, too, which is awesome. And it even has the arms popping out. And this is what would happen if uh, they were all combined together and it was nightmare level. Oh, it's also got some... I mean, there might be springs or they might be like the back rooms type of thing. What does it have, though, for weaponry? Just little spikes on its fingers? No. It doesn't even have spikes. Is it just punching things? Its heads can't reach them. But its hands are. It's, and I think, is it this red one right here that's doing the most damage? I think it's this red one. 
Yeah, that one's got claws down there. That one's definitely doing some work. It's a very, very ineffective monster. It literally doesn't really do a whole lot. But if it was real, it would be absolutely terrifying. This is some weird yellow rainbow friend thing. And it's super scraggly, weird arms. I don't think they actually bend. I think that's just how it is. What the heck is it? It is kind of bending. No, it's not bending. They're all one piece. They don't even bend at all. It's just big, solid, massive arm. Oh, he sunk that one right in his booty. They don't. They just kind of rotate in one spot. Oh, oh, oh. His arm is freaking out. His arm is on the other side of his body. It's on the wrong side. It's going to get weird here in a second. It's kind of actually better that the arms don't move because you, you just get some weird stuff happening. And it's actually quite enjoyable to watch. Clones. Clones are everywhere. A bunch of weird clones just standing around doing nothing. About to be destroyed by a demon dog. Look at this Demogorgon dog thing. This is um quite intimidating looking. We've seen demon dogs before, but what's this one like? Is it a dinosaur? I think it's a dinosaur. Is it going to be able to do... Whoa, yeah, you better run. It's not very fast. I think the other demon Demogorgon dog... Demon dog? What are they called? Demo dog? I can't even remember. I think it's a demon dog. The, that was a werewolf, and that thing was absolutely insane because it would jump and launch at everybody. Yeah! He bit that guy right in the butt! Oh, no. He just fell over. He gave up. He sensed it coming. It was like, I'm done with life. I'm just going to lay down right now. No, they don't all do that. This is just that guy. He, nope, that guy laid down too. He just gave up. Coward Cole is even worse than cowardice. He just literally feigns death like a freaking fainting goat. And I love how they all like clutter together. <laughs> they all like huddle together as if that's going to like protect them somehow. And then they just all die. Oh! Oh, he got two of them with one bite that time right in the head and then somehow he got that guy in the leg <laughs> i'm not too sure how that happened i wonder if the person who made this thing right here also made this thing <laughs> this boxy boo is nuts looking his legs are all the he's got two legs down that's kind of lame the little twisty legs his arms are twisty and then his, so is his head. I don't know. It, I think it's made by the same guy. Everything's rigid and weird. And okay, this is not going to go well. That's more like it. A whole bunch of pigs because why not? These arms actually move a little bit more. No, they're still pretty static. Wait, does it have the pincher thing? <laughs> the pincher things. It's not even like hiding them. It's, they're just there. Where is, are they? Wait a minute. Are they attached to that thing? I think they are. This is a really really weird creation and i uh, don't know what to make of it does he have pink lips <laughs> foxy boo's got some makeup on i'm not quite sure what's happening this is choo choo charles bill bulldozer i'm not too sure what that is but this is the thing i saw that was the main thing and i thought i can't just make another choo choo charles type video i need it to be cool and so we made this random video all based around this is the number one most random thing and uh i'm very curious to know if these things shut and close because it kind of looks like it's going to i'm not actually sure how they made this to where oh do they they don't fling forward at all wait look these are definitely spike things are oh no they're not spike things they're uh just those poles i thought they were two spike things attached together making some weird like mouth thing that i've never seen before but it's not it's static which is super unfortunate but it still definitely destroys stuff i wish that mouth closed makes me want to try to make the ultimate choo choo charles but i don't know if i should because last time i made that venus flytrap the ultimate venus flytrap that thing took me so long <laughs> way longer than i care to admit but uh it's okay because it turned out really awesome and it's on the steam workshop now so you should go get it but the question is what is this thing capable of and i thought the only way to really find that out is if we just take and add a whole bunch of dinosaurs to the mix and then we can just keep adding things until something kills it it looks like a sufficient army to me <laughs> if this thing can make it out of that it must have like invincible health maybe or i mean infinite health and it's invincible we'll find out though because it is definitely getting manhandled by these things and now it is pinned it's only a matter of time before something flings it off the edge they are all biting it 
he is definitely destroying stuff in there. But what he is, I do not know. These guys, are they going right into his mouth? No, they're not. I thought the people were literally walking and just like diving inside of its mouth. It's still alive. It's been a while and it's still going. It's destroying stuff. Dude, this Spino is hanging on for dear life. He's dead. Bye-bye, Spino. There was a dumb choice. Oh, he bit that guy in the neck. You're on the same team. Oh, something happened? <laughs> Where are they all? So I think the dinosaurs pushed the guys inside its mouth. It is getting so weird. Oh, everything's almost dead. He's still alive. He's a, I think I'm pretty sure any type of construction equipment would eventually get trampled and destroyed by dinosaurs. But look at that thing. It's just going to town trying to kill it. Oh, man. Oh, man. It's getting pushed. What's this health at? Oh, it's almost dead, actually. It's going over the edge. They, they're, well, they're taking it over. There it goes. The di No, it's still not gone. Dinosaurs? Are the dinosaurs going to win? No way. It's hanging on with the spiky things. Uh, ah, it died! The dinosaurs won! That's amazing. I thought they were going to lose for sure. There's three dinosaurs left. Is there any people left? There's a guy! Hey, he's the sole survivor. He's the only one that's left. Now you get to live with these dinosaurs. It's only a matter of time before you die, too. Today we asked the question, what if everything in game was a chainsaw? By now, everyone knows about Chainsaw Man. Well, today we asked the question, what if we put chainsaw... What the heck is already happening? What if everything in game had chainsaws attached to them? If the intro is any indication of how this video is gonna go, we're in for a pretty fun video. So as you can see, when you have a chainsaw for a head, things get pretty destructive very quickly. This, not only that though, he also has chainsaws on his hands and spikes all over his body. He's quite terrifying. And his little spinny things even move. He's even got spinny chainsaw blades. It's definitely advisable to run for your life if you see somebody with a chainsaw for a head. Maybe a chainsaw man isn't quite what you're going for. Well, who can resist the cuteness of Pochita? Look at the little Pochita dog thing. Okay, we just hope it doesn't transform into its full power. It's got a little blunt looking chainsaw thing. Does it do anything? Oh no, he doesn't do, he doesn't do anything. He's gonna get destroyed by these gorillas. You better live, you little demon dog. He's just going for, he's just crowd surfing. Listen guys, well this Pochita might be pretty cute. Uh, it's not doing anything, so we've upgraded. <laughs> this is more like it. You're about to die, gorillas. This Pochita also has splitting chainsaw blades of doom. Splitting? That's a new word. I made it up. Maybe not. Maybe it already exists. Either way, as you can see, this one's a little bit more destructive and the baby one is still making its way over here. It's is, uh, This is what I was hoping for out of this guy. I was hoping he would do be destructive even though he's small, but this is this is even better. The problem is, is that his chainsaw blade is kind of bent up in the air, and so it's not where Did you know Pochita literally get off of him? Literally means chainsaw dog. It literally means chainsaw dog. And even looks like the chainsaw from Japan or wherever it's from. I don't know how I feel about this. It died. I also don't know how I feel about this thing right here. Okay, so maybe you're not into little cute tiny dogs, but maybe you like Boxy Boo with chainsaws. Dude, somebody put chainsaws. Oh, have I seen this already? I might have seen this already. Somebody put chainsaws all over Boxy Boo. I don't know what's more terrifying. Chainsaw Man or freaking Boxy Boo with chainsaws. Look at, look at, do they move or any spin or anything? He's got a crazy bobby head going on and his chainsaw hands definitely are working and destroying dinosaurs. I wish they made noise or they actually spun around. This one's kind of like a back, we already killed them all? It's kind of like a back rooms looking chainsaw thing. I'm kind of shocked those dinosaurs lost so I made some super goros. Look at this one taking a nap on his back. <laughs> Just keep going and take a nap. Dude, are the super goros getting destroyed already these are supposed to be way stronger and better but yet boxy boo chains chainsaw chainsaw boo chainsaw boo is destroying everyone already this is the second time that uh chainsaw boo's head got all weird 
Maybe land chainsaw things aren't quite your taste. What if we go under the ocean? This is a chainsaw killer shark. And <laughs> look at this thing. It's got a big chainsaw on its nose. Oh, is that TNT? Okay, we're about to have some nice explosions. It also has guns. Does it even? Why do you need to put rockets and stuff on this thing? Clearly, it's got a chainsaw for a face. I don't think it really needs it. And they spin. It doesn't need rockets. Let's take those off. There we go. Look, look. It doesn't even need it. Just straight up TNT that thing. Here we go. Chainsaw nose in action. Spiking all the killer sharks. Ooh, look at it. The great whites uh, are paying the price for getting too close. It even has like some kind of mechanized jaw. This is actually a really cool looking creature. Whoever made this thing is awesome. It does have some limitations. There's no way for it to like actually attack in the back. It does have spike little spiky things on its fins. But if they try to bite back here, the, nothing really happens. You're just slapping them in the face with metal, which I guess maybe would hurt, but not really. Maybe great white sharks aren't quite what you want. Maybe if you put an even bigger chainsaw on a Mosasaurus that flies, you'll be satisfied. <laughs> Look at this thing. Spikes all over it. Flies, got boosters, and an even bigger chainsaw on the face. Oh, as well as harpoons. Something tells me this is going to be far more destructive than the other one. It also had MGs and stuff. I took those off because I like watching things get cut up by chainsaws. Chainsaw versus an orca? That'd be a gruesome sight. They're all dead already. This is supposed to be family friendly. <laughs> I'm getting into some weird stuff over here, but I guess that's the nature of when you got chainsaws. Just be glad I don't have Goron. Let's up the stakes a little bit. Chainsaw Man versus Chainsaw Man. Who will win this battle? Clearly, they're both equipped well. One has got a dark look going to it, but which one will walk away victoriously? They all have spikes. This Chainsaw Man definitely has more spikes than the black one. Oh no! Are you kidding? He lost. He barely got touched. What are you at? Oh, he's not actually even that high. I'm sad. Don't worry, because if you're rooting for the other one, he's probably about to lose because Katana Man is here. Look at this samurai looking crazy dude. He's here. He's got the coat and everything. Nice little face. He looks great. He looks pretty good. What's happening with his sword, though? It's kind of poking off. Wow! He's super fast, too. He can fly. He's going for the legs. He's super tiny in comparison. Why is he so small? He's like a little baby. Hi, who's going to win? Dude, he's got the kneecaps, the lower legs. He's got the butt region. He's got all the prime targets, right? Oh, yeah. Take that, you faker. The Katana Man. Is his arm spin around? What in the world? You know what's better than all those things? Just a plain old chainsaw. Just a chainsaw that walks and it looks to it's totally different looking. Oh, look at those blades spinning. He's got spikes. This thing might be the most extreme thing I actually downloaded. I did not expect it to be this crazy looking, but man, is it ever. And those little blades that it has on top there. If anything gets caught on there, it just flings them backwards. Like down a down a chute they go. Oh no, look at him. He's stuck in there. There's a leg in there. There's a guy inside! Oh, we have to put it against Katana Man. Katana Man versus Chainsaw. Meet your original design here before we strap it on your arms and stuff. Is he gonna, is the Chainsaw thing gonna win? It's like a Chainsaw bug. It's very dangerous looking. I have no idea who's gonna win this battle. Well, uh, not a whole lot's happening, but I'll tell you one thing. They both have lost a little bit of health with the Chainsaw. He actually has way more HP, doesn't he? Yeah, 1.5 million and five attack. Oh, but his attack is higher. His battle literally could go either way, I guess. But Katana Man is on the side. Let's just help him out a little bit. There we go. Oh, no. It's freaking out. Things are getting weird. Okay, the chainsaw won. I don't even know where Katana Man just went. And now, we save the best for last. And you guys might be asking, what could possibly be better? Well, it's one that you might have seen already. It's the Chainsaw Rex. This thing 
is by far the best chainsaw creation that anyone has made in, in my opinion it everything the spinny things work it's a freaking t-rex it's got chainsaws it's got the crazy tongue thing it is absolutely destructive the most destructive thing when it's just melee based other than the ones that have like the guns and stuff this thing is totally crazy and i like it a lot and it's super plain too there's other things too that look kind of like this like there's a spinal one but this is this is by far the best today we experiment on jumbo josh we clone jumbo josh and transform him into evil jumbo josh this is baby jumbo josh and a baby jumbo josh can withstand this insane course of experimentation then perhaps he can avoid any further experimentation but before i show you jumbo josh you need to see what this insanity is like this poor freaking dude is getting torn limb from limb in this insane contraption and i don't know if jumbo josh is gonna be able to make it all the way through even the elephant is no match here we go baby jumbo josh is approaching the contraption will he be able to make it through there's only one way to find out so far it looks like he's not even getting latched onto that probably means that either he's completely armored up and there's nowhere for it to grab or he's got way too much health he might make it through is he going to make it through he did but here's the thing jumbo josh i lied to you we're still gonna experiment on you and the first thing we'll do is make you bigger this is the human laser and his goal is to electrify jumbo josh to create such a strong genetic connection that we're able to alter his dna don't worry jumbo josh won't die he's just getting supercharged so that way we can hypercharge his molecules and make him even bigger oh the transformation is complete and he's about four times bigger than he once was he also has giant fists and weapons covering them but we need to test how strong he is so let's get some of these scourges and let's create some bone spikes and see if he can withstand the onslaught of the scourge spikes. so far it looks like he didn't get destroyed so that probably means that he's gonna be able to do it here's the goal we're gonna take this jumbo josh and we're gonna clone him and then we're gonna give his clone more weapons until he eventually reaches his final form and becomes evil jumbo josh and then will make him fight against his own clone and see who wins oh yes the transformation has been completed he's been cloned he's been armored up and he's been given chainsaws but the real question is how strong is he now will this clone be able to defeat the original jumbo josh will it even be able to defeat this horde of angry gorillas oh his chainsaws are sinking into countless gorillas bodies are flying but these goros definitely pose a big threat the big daddy gorilla is strong and he can manhandle things like that will this thing be able to withstand will he be thrown off the edge it's hard to know and even if he is thrown off the edge we're just gonna make a new one there was a body i thought i saw something flying it got him dangerously close to the edge he's definitely taken out gorillas but these goros are bound and determined to throw him over the edge oh yeah oh he's he's very close he's gonna take him with him his chainsaw is stuck in him oh he almost held on fear not we can make another now it's time to find out if the chainsaw headed chainsaw wielding jumbo josh can defeat the original experimented on jumbo josh clearly there was a little bit of a problem with our development process where he is a lot smaller than he once was but he does have different weapons which is always good but clearly one jumbo josh has the ability to manhandle the other and throw him around the level if the chainsaw headed jumbo josh is not capable of defeating this jumbo josh then it's there's only one thing we can do and that's to start the evil experimentation process and begin to transform him into the evil jumbo josh oh you guys the chainsaw jumbo josh 
is getting absolutely decimated. His health is already half gone. It's clear to say that this Jumbo Josh is not up to par. We need more experimentation. I call this contraption the genetic disruptor. And as you can see, it's loaded with all these genetic modifying lasers. And we are about to transform Jumbo Josh into evil Jumbo Josh. The problem is that he's so strong wrong already that we need to have a multiple stage process but stage one is nearly complete behold evil jumbo josh phase one he has no weapons other than original weapons so we need to advance his insanity even further but let us test his abilities this is what i was afraid of he might be able to destroy some dinosaurs but he's clearly not as deadly as I would like him to be. Although, as you can see, the evil process has taken over the majority of his body already. We have magnified the lasers to such an extreme level that this definitely will take him to the brand new evil status. So much power, he can barely contain it. It's going to completely change Jumbo Josh into his final form. He has been released evil jumbo josh has reached his final form with all new weapons he's even grown this weird horn thing out of his head he's further contaminated with the evil aspect let's see if it makes him even more deadly than he once was i have to imagine it definitely oh listen to the spikes hitting He's definitely got way more spikes, way more potential for absolute destruction and chaos and death. He's quickly leaving a wake of bodies in his path. It is not looking good for the original Jumbo Josh, I can tell you that much. This final form evil experimented cloned version definitely will do wonders against the original Jumbo Josh. Even advanced weaponry seems to be no challenge for him. He's just literally destroying everything. Maybe we need even bigger weapons. Reinforcements have arrived. The M4s and the exploding crossbows and then these guys with missiles back here. Even this I don't think is going to be enough to destroy the evil Jumbo Josh. It seems like he's way too powerful. Although that's a lot of missiles. Unfortunately for these guys, it's not looking so good. Everyone's almost dead and here he comes for the final few soldiers. There's only one person who might be able to, well one thing that might be able to defeat this and that's the original Jumbo Josh. But let's find out if he's able to. Here we go, the moment you've been waiting for. Regular Jumbo Josh versus Evil Jumbo Josh. Clearly, there's a major difference. They're about the same height, though, huh? But clearly, there's a major difference between the two. One has way bigger weapons than the other one. The only thing the original Jumbo Josh has got going for him is he's got all this armor, just like the evil one. And so, perhaps he'll be immune to most damage. But I think if any of those spikes hit, we're going to have a totally different result. There are actually lots of hits going on. And I think the difference is clearly the fact that uh, he's got a lot more on his freaking hands than the original actually you know what it is he, the experimentation process all it did was it took the original size spikes on there and made them larger and way more grotesque looking and as a result i think we're seeing some pretty violent oh look at this breach in his skin here that might make the world of a difference one uh, the evil jumbo josh has way more armor and so i think he's even more protected oh he destroyed him and look at this he barely lost any health the original jumbo josh has been defeated and the evil Jumbo Josh is here to stay. These are some of the largest and most cursed units you'll ever see. And the question is, why are they so cursed? We've seen what happens when something like Nab Nab becomes cursed. But what happens if you curse all the other units too? This right here is F, a normal alphabet lore character. This is A, 
And this is a giant cursed boxy boo. What happens if you take a giant boxy boo like thing and mix it with an alphabet lore character, say like a combination between F and O? It might get something like this. <laughs> What is this giant thing? It's a gigantic flat-faced mouth. And he's going to destroy it. I mean, this is like what O would be like if you squished him and then mutated him a whole bunch and gave him giant teeth and some weird claw thing. I knew he wasn't going to be able to open that mouth. It's way too big. Although technically, I guess O is blue or purplish, depending on which alphabet lore thing you're looking at. So maybe you mixed it with a uh, heeny died. You maybe you mixed it with F as well. I don't know. Since we're in the realm of alphabet lore, let's talk about rainbow friends. Not just rainbow friends, but also garden of ban ban. And what happens if you mix orange with sheriff toadster? <laughs> you get this guy right here. <laughs> what is this thing? It's called brown. And he looks like orange mixed with toadster for real. Let's see what he does though. Does he open that mouth and eat stuff? He just rolls on a cart. He's too lazy to actually run. Instead, he just rolls. Well, he can definitely eat some people he ate that guy like it was nothing oh you're gonna pay for that one there he just ran him over he didn't even bother eating him he just like ran this guy over if you could see one unit in any game or in any meme or any trend cursed what would it be but that's technically kind of a trick question though because everything has been cursed already. he can't even move his pile of bodies are keeping him from moving this guy's laying in his mouth i think probably my favorite one is thomas since thomas looks so crazy the cursed spider thomas train of doom he's just an absolute nightmare of a unit and uh he's probably my favorite cursing but i don't know if he can defeat giant lava sandworms he might have a problem okay he can next thing brings us to our next cursed unit and this this one is on a whole other level. It's better than a chicken. Well, uh, <laughs> a giant cursed rubber chicken. What is in the world is happening? Oh, this is easy of arms. Oh, he's got arms, right? Little raptor claws. He's basically a raptor. Chickens are incredibly closely related DNA wise to a raptor. And my goodness, he has too many weapons. I didn't expect that to happen. I really wanted to see him just punch and kick some stuff. And then a whole freaking swarm of stuff came out of his mouth. Did you not? I had to click for like a minute to get rid of all those freaking missiles. There's so many. Just kick some hippos. That's really what I want to see. Yeah. Toe spikes right to the hippo's mouth. This is about the type of action you expect from a rubber chicken. <laughs> not really doing much, but he sure is uh, destroying some hippos. Oh, you guys, I got all kinds of stuff today. You, you don't even know. Something tells me that this next unit might be a little ridiculous small but it's deadly i don't even know what you call this thing technically i think it's called a drone of some kind and uh he looks absolutely terrifying let's see what happens oh he flies yep it's all that coming and can he actually defeat these guys he's got like a tentacle thing oh my goodness he's just getting beaten by these things have you ever seen two gorill gorillas fight it, it, it's just, it's a nightmare situation. How many does he have spikes on his hands? He's also got spikes on the edge of his wings. All the gorillas are dead. There's no chance for you guys. If What's he doing still? He's freaking out. It's like chicken with his head cut off running around. I guess this is technically what happens when you curse a human and give him wings and stuff and take him to the dark side. Just have like Kleenex boxes for shoes. Are you Kevin? Okay, things just got really real. <laughs> the doors figure is here he's like mixed with like back room stuff and he's got these spinny things that float around and wait you'll see it's crazy and he's got some like nab nab chest thing going on then it's classic figure head this thing's nuts looking this is look at that look at him spin it's like a, this is like a straight up this is the epitome of a cursed unit i mean he's already kind of cursed by default but man this thing taken to a whole new level it's whoa goodbye dude it's this is better for you just leave you, you don't want to suffer the fate of your friends that was incredibly fast and <laughs> these guys were gone so quickly look at this nightmare this is like if ban ban got cursed and was mixed with the grim reaper and was getting vengeance for bambolina getting destroyed in the last one look at this i don't even know what it is it's it's wild looking but you see the, the grim reaper cloak thing going on and the, the ban ban horns he's 
Very scary looking. He, he doesn't flow though. He just walks. Be great. Oh, he's getting shot by shotguns. I forgot about that. I thought he had TNT or something. Oh, well, he got those guys. It's like a trap. Like a little cage thing. The claw. Oh, no, he died. Well, I guess he wasn't too cursed. You can go meet Bambolina. We've all seen Chainsaw Man, and we've all seen Chainsaw T-Rex. And what happens when you merge Chainsaw Man with the T-Rex? This is what you get. Now, what happens if you take Chainsaw Man and you merge him with, like, Gun Devil and you make him even more insane? Yeah, you guessed it. You get cursed Chainsaw Man. What in the world? Look at this. Two... Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's got ten chainsaws. Not just uh, one arm. He's got six, and then he's got three heads. The middle one's got dual chainsaws. This thing's nuts. Be cool if they moved, but you get it. I mean, it's this is beyond cursed. That's what I'm talking about. I found some cool stuff, and I'm like, what kind of video can I make? Oh, you know what? I'm making cursed stuff, so I might as well make what happens if you curse everything else. You get crazy things like this. You just. He literally skewered that Spino and picked him up like he was going to put him on a barbecue. Jeez. And there you go. Cursed Chainsaw Man exists, and he is amazing. What happens if you take a spider, a Black Widow to be exact, and you curse it and make it into the largest spider that has ever existed? You get this thing. <laughs> now, I've shown this already, so keep it short and sweet and move on to the next one. But this, I, you know, since we're doing cursed stuff, this is pretty darn close to being. I forgot it did that. Are you gonna? Are you going back down, or are you or are you done? Okay, he's he died. He's gone. Anyway, he's cursed, and uh, yeah, there's a big spider. Behold, my army of Achilles. Ha! <laughs> They're gonna die because I'm facing them off against something called Balisco. It's not technically cursed. But it is gigantic. Maybe it is cursed. It could be like one of those centipede things mixed with like a ship. And it's, it's got the whole thing. No, it's not cursed. But it is giant. And I thought, I don't really have a video for this thing. And so I thought, I've been meaning to show this for a while. And so I thought, this this will be good for this one. Oh, gosh. She got stuck on the edge. So he's got lasers. Oh, my. Raining missiles down from the heavens. Look at that. That's amazing! Look, it's like a big gun carrier. This thing is sweet. This is what uh, this is what the U.S. Army needs: a big, gigantic centipede ship of doom. Technically, I guess I'd be the Air Force. I just meant the military in general. Since we're on big, giant things, I thought I gotta show you guys this. This is brand new. Look at this gigantic flying ship. Which I know this is from something. I just can't think right now. So if anybody. Does it just, does it fly at all? Or does it just roll on the ground? Okay, okay, go on. Do it, do it, get up there. Wow, my game is lagging. It is a huge flying thing. It's got rockets and missiles and stuff. But, man. You know, I just thought it'd be interesting to put a bunch of Achilles together since I've never seen it. I have to imagine it'd be quite funny to put, like, all these Achilles against a Spinosaurus and just watch him get bludgeoned repeatedly. So this thing doesn't really work too well. Maybe I have to, do I have to start him from a block? I mean, he is flying around. I mean, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything. That's way better than anything I can make. Today, you will not believe the cursed trains that I found. And I'm gonna make them all fight off against one another in the most epic cursed battle royale you've seen. Let's do it, Mr. Fish. There is a train at Disney World that's fun for the whole family. That was until someone took and cursed it and made it into this nightmare. If you've ever wondered how to clear tracks of debris, just go ahead and load it up with a bunch of spikes and then send it into the world. It's not enough just to watch these cursed trains fight people and stuff, but we gotta put them all against one another at the end of the video in an epic battle royale to prove which train is the most cursed and most amazing. I thought of about saving this next train for the end of the video, but I thought, <laughs> let's do it now. What happens if you took all of the rainbow friends and then merged them into the most hideous train imaginable? Oh, and look, there's a baby Choo Choo Charles coming out of Red's chest. Sometimes I forget to breathe. I don't know what, is that green? Look at this right here, ready? Look at what's going on in the front. This is like... 
purple then combined with green's mouth hijack green's mouth i don't even know what's happening this is the most insane train i've ever seen in my life <laughs> this thing is alive and that that makes it all the the more cursed honestly there were some cursed ones we've seen before, but after seeing this, never mind, it died. I was gonna say maybe it's really good and OP, but it just got destroyed, which is super disappointing. Speaking of Choo Choo Charles, I've got one, and I had to choose between like a thousand because there's so many, but I chose one I don't think I've ever played with before. This is a Choo Choo Charles I don't think I've loaded up, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. And guess what? <laughs> Look at that mouth. It's just as hideous as any other one. And it should be just as deadly. Now, I loaded up a whole bunch of these guys because if we could survive a whole bunch of half swimsuit wearing weirdos <laughs> fighting you and punching you repeatedly, I think you might be able to actually survive anything. So let's see what's happening. Oh my goodness. They're all dying. They're dead already. Wow, okay. I don't think I've ever realized just how disgusting these guys truly are. I got some things you might not even consider to be trained and I'm super excited about it. I'm sure that you've all seen the train eater, but what you probably have never seen is a zombie train eater. Check this out. It's a zombie train eater and it's freaking amazing. You might be like, it's a train eater actually train. Yes, it's a train. It's different from other trains. It's each train, that's the name. This is a zombie one. Sometimes I forget to breathe. Oh no, he's got a laser. I forget to breathe and then I'm like, why is my voice? hurt later oh because i'm talking like an insane person oh okay he died well that's okay we need things that can die anyway for the other things to beat up on so that's good but you know what this trainator is a zombie one and maybe it's not as good as this one. Oh, <laughs> this is the train eater shark look at this like a goblin shark this thing is amazing not just the typical train eater i went with the new version and he's pretty cool let's see what happens can he defeat all these guys he better be able to oh he's got lasers that's kind of different he's got lasers instead of just eating things that's all right too oh i think they're all about to die look at i like the shape of this thing in design it's not fluid at all very rigid like the original train eater which is okay don't you go flying away though you need to stay on the ground it's okay even if this does fly away in the battle royale guess what i've got some stuff i think we'll be able to hone it in and reel it in and destroy it we'll find out i guess at the end of the video huh i'm sure you all are aware of the story the little engine that could that fought with all of its might to get up over that hill well guess what it's uh this one i think would definitely be able to do it this is the little engine that could destroy the planet <laughs> look at this thing actually that's not his name i just named it that but it's freaking amazing and i'm super excited it kind of looks like that first one so let's see whoa it's fast look at its wheels moving and that thing is going wow that's pretty freaking awesome that that actually moves like a normal train would wow he is very violent probably more so than even the first one i'm yeah i'm satisfied with this this is gonna be a good battle royale you know what movie is really weird when you really think about it it's freaking creepy it's the polar express and i get to ask the question two questions what would it look like if you cursed the polar express and what would it look like if that cursed polar express fought a bunch of raptors that's what we're gonna do right now check this thing out it has polar express right? look at this thing oh it's so long it's amazing and it's very violent. What are these little wheels down here for? To keep it in track? I don't... Look at, look at the spikes. Let's see what happens. Okay, here we go. That's what I love about this game. You get to ask all kinds of crazy questions. Like the Polar Express versus a bunch of rafters. You would never, ever think of this ever in your life. Unless it was for this game. Why? But it's not doing anything. You, you are not good. You are lame sauce. You can't even defeat these things. He, this thing is going to get beat. And I, there's something I have that should utterly wreck this thing. But it's like all snaking up. Look at that. That's kind of cool. It's running over the raptors. Well, you know, this should make for an interesting battle. That's for sure. Because I honestly have no idea how things like this are going to do in the final battle. I bet you thought that I forgot about this one. 
but it didn't. I thought, you know what? For this next one, let's have it fight some of its own kin. A bunch of spiders versus Thomas the Cursed Spider Train. I can't, you can't, can't forget about this guy. How can you have a battle like this, a video like this, if you don't have, uh, you know, <laughs> this guy in here. And look at him eating spiders and stuff. I'm very excited about the one that's after this, though, because I've never heard of it. It looks absolutely terrifying, and it might be actually a competitor to everything. Whoa! Goodbye, spider. I didn't know spiders can fly. Did you know spiders can fly? Thank God that spiders cannot fly because that would be absolutely horrible. Please tell me there are no spider flying spiders because if there is, I'm going to freak out and have nightmares. I don't think there is. Let's just say there isn't. I'm not checking the comments on this video. I know we've already played with a bunch of men, but I thought because of this next one and its name, it's only suiting and fitting to have a bunch of men. This is Edward the man-eating train and this looks like some weird choo-choo charles hybrid and this is the look i mean i don't even know what's gonna happen but it looks even more vicious than choo-choo charles because of the way that those claws are let's see what happens does he actually eat the man he, he d probably doesn't in this in this game but you know what i'm saying did those arms work they kind of work. I was wondering if they did. They kind of work just like the other ones. Not as not as crazy as I thought it was going to be. That's okay. It should definitely make for a good competitor. And at least the Choo Choo Charles. I don't know. I hope I don't have anything that needs to be DQ'd. But we'll find out right now. Here we go. One of the most extreme and crazy battle royales that we've ever done. And one of my favorite probably. I'm super excited to find out which cursed train is the best cursed train. Which one is the most dangerous, the most deadly, the most gruesome. Will it be some, uh, one of the ones that we're familiar with or one of these new ones like the rainbow friend, friends train, the train shark, the train eater shark, the Choo Choo Charles classic, maybe Casey Jr. Maybe it'll be Edward the man eating train, little engine that could destroy everything. Or will it be the classic Thomas the spider train? Now I know for a fact some of these have higher stats than others, so we'll find out who comes out on top. But comment below right now who you think is going to be victorious in in this battle in three two one fight okay who's gonna pop first that's the real question i have oh no i forgot to take out the 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 uh missile but that's okay it it might be needed in this one something has a laser too i didn't even realize it there goes the rainbow friends one pops first we got edward the man in trade fighting Choo Choo Charles, and Choo Choo Charles is fighting Casey Jr. The spider Thomas is over here fighting. Here comes the train shark coming in from the back. Trying. Oh, he's got harpoons. Oh, he, he has teeth and lasers, but the lasers don't work half the time. So it'll be hard to see. Oh, someone's popping. Somebody popping? Oh, uh, no one's popping. It looks like the little engine that could's little wheel thing he came off. The spider train is destroying his face. Now, what makes this interesting is that some of the things have higher stats by a lot than some of the other ones, but they don't have as nearly as good of, of weaponry and stuff. So it's hard to tell. There goes the train shark gets destroyed by the man eater. Edward, the man eater train, just destroyed the shark one, which is which was one of my favorite ones, just because of the way it looked. Oh, there goes the man eater! Somehow gets destroyed from behind. Choo Choo Charles didn't even looking at him, just destroyed him. <gasps> no way! Choo Choo Charles just went down. That's crazy. He was actually doing really good uh, against Casey Jr. for a long time, like really good. Oh no, he's Casey Jr. is coming to attack the spider train from the side. Oh, there goes the little engine that could. Now it's it's Thomas versus the spider uh, versus the uh, Casey Jr. This is crazy, you guys. Once I tell you and reveal the information to you about the stats on these things, you're going to be shocked by how this battle went because it is not at all how I thought it was going to go. I thought things were going to be way different, but it turns out that uh, it, it. some of you maybe guessed it right. Some of you might have expected this. I don't know, but it literally could go either way. Right? Get out of here with your stuff, Choo Choo Charles' body. His corpse is messing with the game. Oh, you guys. You guys, you guys, here it comes. 
Boom! Thomas the Spider Train wins the Battle Royale. And guess what? He barely has any health left. Now, here's the crazy thing, you guys. This is wild. The stats on these things will kind of shock you. So, we got Choo Choo Charles. He's got quite a bit of health there in stats. Look at this! Casey! over here with the max almost and then not only that but the little edge of that could with the max too and the only reason why the spider train is victorious is because he has all of these so this is thomas and he's a little angry because uh he's been cursed and not just him but a whole bunch of other things and he, it's pretty bad and today we need to ask how and why did thomas and these other things get so cursed see it all started when thomas came to the fair he was very mad because he couldn't ride on any of the rides so we took it out on all the people, and that's what started the whole curse process. Completely just destroys everybody, wrecking everything in its way. He's launching missiles off that are knocking everybody over. He's attacking the bumper car area. If you can't ride on that ride, nobody can. <laughs> oh no, he just <laughs> destroyed the whole thing. Oh, Thomas is becoming more cursed right now. And that's how he started to become the spider train Thomas. And uh, as you can see, he's extremely cursed. But here's the thing, this isn't even the final cursed version of him. Oh, we'll continue on with Thomas's story here in a little bit, but before we do that, I have to show you this other thing that's been mutated. You know the skibbity toilets, right? Well, they've uh, evolved beyond what we expected. This is the new scientist. And uh, as you can tell, he is far different than ever before. M way bigger way crazier he looks like he's like turning into some kind of spider thing and as you can see he's also taken parts from all the speaker men that he's destroyed what the heck is he doing <gasps> whoa he's throwing out little drones or something this what is happening this is insane oh they're fighting they're trying to fight the drones but it's literally no use this this uh evolution this mutation is beyond what uh, I think we were able to handle. This group of s soldiers, at least. Wow, they're all completely dead and doomed. That was insane. And it's not just the skibbity toilets. No, the ones that were supposed to defend humanity and living things, the speaker man and titan cameraman, have also turned and started to merge and mutate together and started to destroy all life as we know it. Uh, this is a combination of the cameraman and the speaker man as you can see and he's got all kinds of weaponry this thing though for example is beyond uh what's even possible realistic wise uh it's kind of got a light show lots of missiles and zappy laser things the good thing is though while he might not like anything living anymore, he also still really hates the skibbity toilets. <laughs> so much so that I was going to show you what happens when he attacks him, but I literally could have hit the pause button fast enough and he instantly destroyed him with one laser blast. Yeah, but that's, you know what, even though this one's dead, there's other ones. Like the Titan Scientist Skibbity Toilet, this thing right here, what is going on with it? Whoa, okay, I think he's... I think this one is a little bit, maybe it's like the dollar store version or something. It's gigantic though, but it's absolutely uh, probably just as dangerous as the other one. Let's find out. Oh, <laughs> even more so. Like, what's the point? Look at that. It is insane. Oh, yeah, but who wins here? Will it be the Titan Scientist Skibbity Toilet or will it be the titan camera speaker man merge combination a weird mutation thing we've never seen before who will win oh my lasers oh <laughs> hey oh no way that thing died wow i'm complete wait it's still shooting off it's still attacking the little drones 
I'm so... Well, it didn't even take any damage. How much health does he have? Oh, he's invincible. 2.9997E plus 07. That means infinitely powerful. I think it's time to get back to Thomas. Well, you know how cursed the spider one was? Well, there's a new cursed one. It's a train skibbity toilet version. Look at him. He's nightmarish. He turned into a toilet. I think the spider was a better mutation. I don't know why you went to this thing, but he did. And it's freaking terrifying. But the real question is, can he defeat this giant heavily fortified base? The last remnants of mankind all here in this base equipped with all kinds of soldiers, tanks, missiles, airplane jet fighters, dudes with weapons, guys with rockets strapped to their backs. Okay, this is going to be intense. I have no I have no idea what's about to happen. Well, look at the jets actually flying around. The tanks are coming out. Oh, he's blowing up the tanks. He's blowing up the base too at the same time. Oh, this freaking train is way more deadly than the last one i can tell you that much i don't think that spider one would have survived this or been able to actually take anything out but wow they are launching everything they can at this thing missiles going out galore Whoa, what is this a mech walker dude some it's godzilla it's a, it's mecha godzilla what the heck they even had a mecha godzilla defending the base that's insane look at him just rolling in doesn't even care about the jets anymore. Just wants to attack all the people that are in here. This one last soldier needs to just run for his life. Run away. Oh, Thomas is stuck. Never mind. He's breaking free. Wow, they're just doing flyover after... Oh! The jet goes down. Just doing flyover after flyover after flyover. Oh, this is not looking good. Can, dude, can they even take it out at all? I don't even think so. We need to find out which thomas variation is the most cursed i think this one might be uh you know it, it might be the most powerful i don't know if it's the most cursed because in all reality that other one's really freaking cursed but what is this jet what does he do it he's just flying back and forth thomas do something man we gotta get you out of this heap of scrap metal scrap oh he's flying through the air wow okay good job thomas you destroyed even mecha godzilla so here we go, the showdown of the ages. The spider train versus the skibbity train, oh no. One has weapons, obviously very different. Let's see what happens, missiles out. I think they both, no they don't have, they both don't have missiles. <gasps> oh, the spider version died. Did he take any damage? No, he barely. But you know what guys, this isn't even the final version of the train. He ate its corpse and became a spider himself. Oh no. <laughs> the ultimate form. The cursed skibbity toilet spider train of doom. It's, it's, it's messed up, man. They took a nice kid's uh, thing and they just took it to a whole new freaky scary levels and uh you can't have anything nice on the internet these days things just keep getting more cursed and crazy and scary as time goes on listen you need to do something for me you need to like and subscribe because if you don't curse spider thomas train is gonna come and get you just just kidding you can do it if you want i hope you enjoyed watching have a great day bye bye curse spider train you're freaking nuts